Now, two years ago, our next guest was fresh out of acting college and making his mark on the Irish theatre scene. But his upcoming TV role is set to catapult him to international stardom. Please welcome Paul Mesco to the show. Hello. No pressure, by the way. No yeah, pressure at all. No We're talking about Normal People, which is the adaptation of Sally Rooney's, the Irish author Sally Rooney's book. Yes. People have been reading this in book clubs for ages. It was on the <laughs> Obama's list. Yeah. People have been talking about this adaptation for a while, Paul. Are your nerves wrecked from thinking about people actually getting to see it? Yeah, absolutely. Like when you, when you consider yourself a fan of the book and you're also in it, it's kind of a strange position to be in. But um, yeah, I suppose any hype around the book is good hype, but it's, it's slightly odd being associated with it, I think. You were a fan of the book? Yeah, massive fan, obviously, yeah. When you were reading it, because you play one of the leads, mm -hmm. Connell, yeah. when you were reading it, could you, were you like, I could do this? I, I, I understand him. I th yeah, that, that was the, because you're obviously sent through auditions a lot of the time and you're looking at different characters and different parts. But when I kind of, when I read that book, I was kind of like, it's, it spooks you a bit when you recognise something that you think you'd be able to do. And then you kind of fall in love with the book and the characters and the, the plot and you start seeing or visualising how you might want to go about doing it and then you get it and you have to do it and then the pressure becomes something else, yeah. I think, yeah. You're looking at every other young Irish actor <laughs> yeah. that's your height going, no, 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 this is, yeah. this is mine. Yeah. Do you, Louise, do you get that? Because we hear of musicians hearing songs and going, yep. that's mine, I want it. Yep. And they're, they're basically taking a wee around it so no one else can have it. Do you feel <laughs> yeah. that sometimes? Yeah, yeah sometimes, yeah, yeah, you want to claim it for yourself. Yeah, no, you know. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on this, of course, you got to work with Lenny Abrahams. Yes. Yeah, Abrahamson, who of course people know for the Oscar nominated room. So, yeah. so what was it like working with Lenny? Oh, it was like, I, I, I've, I've said this before, I think that it's like being an Irish actor is one thing, but I think any actor who knows what they want or who they want to work with, I, Lenny is up there and uh, to kind of get to work with him in my first kind of TV show or any kind of role on screen was kind of uh, it was an embarrassment of riches, I think, and uh, like learned too much from him, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lenny. Cheers. Yeah. I don't want all this. Yeah, no, give me That's too much. That's not good. Yeah. When you were just out of college, you landed mm -hmm. the role of Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby that was playing at the gate, which I think half this country has seen that yeah. play. It was such a long <laughs> run and it, the reviews for it were unbelievable. Yeah, it, was... it brought theatre to a whole new audience. And you hear how it's kind of, you know, being an actor, it's tough. You know, yeah. your job and you're looking all the time. For you, there's been kind of a stratif stratospheric trajectory. Are you aware of that? Well, I, I'm aware definitely that I've been really lucky that the jobs that I've gotten have kind of led to the, to the next job and the next job and the next, jo next job. And yeah, it, it's, a, it's a tricky question because at the moment things are going well for me, but the nature of the employment is, is that that only exists until the end of this job and then I'm unemployed. So it's a, uh, you kind of just roll with the bunches. I can then. see you squirming about all Yeah, I'm literally like, like, like yeah. Stop me. Let's not talk I'm about terrible. employment I'm, I've or unemployment. I've never done anything ever before. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more worried that we might jinx him. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's what he's worried about. We won't, yeah. you're fantastic. Yeah. Pretend it's fine. Well, <laughs> so fantastic that the next gear is already rolling around. Yes. Uh, you're going to be playing Mad Porig in the uh, Lieutenant of Inishmore, which uh, opens in, in, in the gate. In a week, yeah. Yeah, in a week's yeah. time. Yeah. 27th of January. Porig is quite different from the characters you've been playing so far. Yeah. Is that welcome? Is that good? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Any kind of title with mad before it, I think <laughs> it looks like it's going to be good crack. So, uh, and obviously it's, it's, uh, it's Martin McDonough's play and it's with a terrific uh, company of actors. So it, uh, it was never something that I would have turned down at all. Okay. Uh, tell us about, tell us about. Yeah. So the play is set predominantly on Inish Moore, uh, the character I'm playing, Mad Porig or Porik uh, is on, a, he's in the INLA, a splinter group from the IRA, and is uh, informed that his beloved Wee Thomas, his cat, is unwell, and he returns with a vengeance to figure out what is going on back home in the island, and all kind of madness ensues. And if people are listening, it's like, no, 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 this, no, this, this is, this I'm is not, all I'm because of the joking. cat. <laughs> yeah, it's totally it's straight up. Cat. And it is such a fast play, like yeah. Martin McDonough wrote words where you've got to be on top of your game. And Don Witcherly was here 
the other week talking about it going, lads, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot to be doing. <laughs> there's a lot to be saying. But you've got Alex Murphy from The Young Offenders is involved yeah. in it as well. So many great actors. Is yeah. there great crack? Like, oh, there's in loads of crack. Rehearsal? Yeah, like yeah, we're, it's, we're blessed with the, with the crack merchants in there, definitely. Like you've got... It, what's interesting about the play, though, in terms of that, is that we've only started, like, in the last few weeks, in the last week, started running the play, so you're starting to see what everyone else has been doing in the rehearsal room, because you kind of rehearse in isolation, because it's a lot of them are be two-hander scenes, or yeah. so then everybody kind of rocks back into the room at the tail end of last week, and you start seeing the work that they've done, and then the crack goes to the next level. Yeah. Are yeah, people just walking around going, meow at you all the yeah, time, literally. just kind yeah. of getting you going yeah. with cat. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, because of the trajectory that Warren's just uh, alluded to and the fact that you're on the rise, comparisons are going to be made with other famous Irish actors and other people who have done well over the last while. Barry Keoghan, mm -hmm. Killian Murphy. Are you all right with that? Com those comparisons or do you just ignore it? Q squirm. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's obviously, it's amazing to be associated even in the same sentence as those actors but uh like as we all know it's a kind of, it's a very temperamental uh business and i think mm. it's it, it, uh, well I, and i'm not just saying this i think it's something that i like to do my own thing and figure it out that way because there's too many variables i think associated with the industry and it's very easy to compare and look if i could have half the career of any of those guys that you mentioned i'd be very very happy indeed but i think it's about trying to forge your own path a little bit as well. He's just lost about three pounds from all the squirming that we've Yeah, literally. Just like, oh my God, oh my God, make it stop. But it happens all the time, like Louise, certainly yeah. in you know, the, the folk scene or the Irish country music scene, mm -hmm. there are comparisons all the time. Is that something, because you're kind of very tight knit, is that yeah. something within your scene that you're all fine with? Or is it like, no, we're different? Yeah, if, if everybody has their own style, you know, yeah. it's like what you were saying, totally. you know, you have to do your own mm. thing and put your own little stamp yeah. on, on what you do and not worry about everybody else or trying to be exactly. like somebody it, else. You, you have to be yourself yeah. And, yeah. and just do your own thing and make your own little mark. Exactly, I think yeah. so. so. you don't want to be the new you too, you don't want to be the new... You no. You just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want to be the new you. Because yeah. it can bring a, <laughs> it can exactly. bring a pressure with it, can't it? Yeah. yeah. It oh, yeah, yeah. And, and a pressure that you yeah. really and, and even what you were saying as well, how, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit uncertain, you know, yeah. work-wise, and you're not always sure what your diary is exactly. going to be looking yeah. like down the road as well. But it just all falls into place yeah. all and the time. And there's positives and negatives yeah. that come oh, yeah. with that yeah. nature of employment. But, uh, mm -hmm. And yeah. comparisons always tend to be associated as well. But, uh, mm. yeah. Okay. I feel so bad for you. I yeah, mean, what did we do? To him? <laughs> what did we do? Yeah. He's going to have to be doing so much promotion for normal people. All of it was that. That's okay. That is okay. We're just. This is. We're just, no, we're doing. We're, we're doing well. Slowly. I'm squirming away, but I'm happy. It's been mine. <laughs>